All right, folks, here's a quick little video of me making the bolts for my bolt action pen. Um, this one's already complete, and I'm just going to run it again so you can see it um, without coolant. It makes a big mess, and you'd never see what the heck was going on. So I'm just going to rerun the part and uh, show you the procedure. What we end up with, what I'm actually doing right now is, see if I can get this far enough to focus, is putting in that counter bore right there. So it's a counter bore, it's uh, threaded, and it's a specific distance from this end, which also has a counter bore. I've already done that and unfortunately didn't shoot any video of it. So you can't see that going on. And uh, inside of this hole that we're doing right now, we'll screw in, well, I don't have it here. But anyhow, the ball mechanism screws into there to actually make the bolt action work. So here I am, I'm gonna run it with no coolant. So switching right now to an eighth inch end mill. Eighth inch end mill is gonna come in there, drill it, and then actually bore it to a specific diameter. So now the counter bore itself is done. And it switches to a center drill. To spot the hole. That's it. It's a quick little cycle there. Now it's going to switch to the drill bit. Switch to the drill bit itself. Going to drill that hole. So now the hole is drilled. Switch tools over to the tap. Two step procedure tapping it. I don't quite trust going that deep all in once. So now the hole's tapped, 256. Switches to an end mill to actually cut it to length. So none of this work on this part has actually been done on a lathe. So that's it. The part is done. Like I said, when all is said and done, it ends up looking like that. Boy, it sure is hard to get something to focus up close on the video on this. And when all is said and done, these little balls right here, the ball and shaft, that's all one piece of titanium, will uh, screw into that. And you end up with that. So that's what we got. Hope you enjoyed.